Has a question ever crossed your mind? How profound is God's love for humanity? It's an inquiry that has puzzled and inspired thinkers, theologians and seekers throughout the centuries. To begin to grasp the enormity of God's love, we turn to the Bible, a book filled with expressions of divine affection. In the book of John, chapter 3, verse 16, we find one of the most famous verses, For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish, but have eternal life. This verse not only speaks of God's love, but also of its sacrificial nature. God's love isn't passive or distant, it's active, sacrificial and personal. It's a love that doesn't hold back, even at great cost. It's a love that reaches out to the lost, the broken, the weary, the outcast. This is the love described in Romans chapter 5 verse 8. But God demonstrates His own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. God's love is also enduring. In the book of Jeremiah chapter 31 verse 3, God says, I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have drawn you with unfailing kindness. This isn't a temporary affection that fades with time or circumstance. It's a love that endures through every storm, every trial, every heartbreak. Yet this love isn't just about grand gestures and cosmic plans, it's about intimate details too. In the book of Matthew chapter 10 verse 30, Jesus tells us, And even the very hairs of your head are all numbered. This level of attention to detail speaks volumes about the depth and breadth of God's love. In the book of Psalms chapter 36 verse 7, the psalmist writes, How priceless is your unfailing love, O God! People take refuge in the shadow of your wings. This verse paints a beautiful picture of God's love as a shelter, a refuge, a place of safety and comfort. The echoes of God's love reverberate throughout the ages, reaching us today with the same power and intensity as when they were first spoken. This love invites, it heals, it transforms, it gives life. As we draw this journey to a close, consider this, the same love that moved God to create the universe to send His Son, to number the hairs on your head, that love is for you. Ponder this, reflect on it, let it sink into the very core of your being, and then take a moment, a moment to contemplate how you've experienced God's love in your life, how it has touched you, changed you, brought you through. Remember, your story is a testament to the enduring, active, and profound love of God. So carry this thought with you as you go about your day, as you navigate the challenges and joys of life. Keep in mind that you are deeply loved by the Creator of the universe and let that love guide you, inspire you and fill you with hope. Remember, the greatest love story ever told is not a tale of human passion but of divine affection and you, dear listener, are a part of that story. So go forth and live your chapter in the grand narrative of God's love. If this message resonated with you or inspire you, please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to keep you posted with recent upload. Thanks for watching. Stay blessed.